at all. So today, well yesterday, I bought the Be Perfect Colourful Palette by Stacey Marie. Um, I did see a lot of people doing videos on it and um, it looked really vibrant and colourful. I just wanted to try it to see what it was like. It's a fly. Ugh. So anyway, inside it looks like this. You get a mirror and then you get all these colours and you get two highlighters. And I have like, you know, played around with it a little bit on my daughters but not so much on myself so this is what I did today this is the first time i've actually used it on me and yeah i'm pretty impressed to be fair it's really good um get a lot of shades and the highlighters are good as well so let's do this so first of all i went in with the color funky which is this bright pink now this pink came off a little bit um purpley toned but I don't know if that's because I didn't totally wipe my brush and it had a bit of blue in it from the other day. So that could be kind of my fault. So I don't know. We'll just go ahead and do it. I mean, if you look at that, wow, the pigment is there. What I might do is, though, I might, um, in the description below of this video, I will put in like how it lasted, etc. So like if you think, oh my god, the sun's in my face. You know what? I, I came to do this thinking the sun wasn't gonna be in my face and the sun is in my face. Although I'm guessing um if you did just pack this on rather than doing what I'm doing, blending it out, I'm guessing you would have more of a darker or brighter pink this isn't my fault because it does glow really really pretty blending out wise it seems okay some of the eyeshadows do feel a little bit um harder than say like jeffree star i mean i don't know i mean i'm not going to judge until i've actually tried them but um I was debating getting the Flamingo palette, but the Flamingo palette would have been just for one colour basically. There's a blue in it that I really wanted. Um, whether I'll get that now, I don't know. So if you look at it, it's come off just a little tiny bit purplish. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I'm blending it out, but I don't know if that's because of my brush. Because it was a little bit, you know. Sorry about that guys, I went back to get me a mirror because this sun is just doing my head and looking in that mirror is just uh, it's killing me. Right, so I'm going to start doing it in my little mirror. Right, so I'm going to get a smaller brush and I'm going to go in with the colour Wifey, which is this one right here. Um, When I did do these two colours, um, when I touched them, they looked different. One's more like a reddy tone, one's like a pinky tone. Then when I put them both near each other, they looked pretty similar. I don't know. They still like nice colours. And we're just going to go round into this area to darken this up. But like I said, they blend nice. They're really pigmented, which is what you want, so yeah. I think I'll try and do a really, really um, colourful look at some point. Obviously, if not today, because I've got to wear this to the gym. Even though it's quite dramatic, it's still, you know. But again, this is, yeah, again, this is an easy tutorial. It's not a hard one. It's easy. I'm still using that mirror and that's how I'm going to use this one, don't I? The wash trying to get in the bedroom, and I don't really fancy that. I'm just gonna call it running a little bit. I don't fancy a wash getting in here. <laughs> I'd be crying like a little girl. Ah! Mm. Okay. So, yeah, it's blended out quite nice. So, I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. 
I'm going to go in there with a colour Guilty. I'll just, let's grab my palette. It's like having to put things down. Mm. Guilty, which is this colour here, like a red. And I'm going to just pop some of that in this colour. And you see, when I put it on like there, it doesn't look like, um, like it's much different from the other one. Or maybe it is actually when you're close up looking at it. I think it's just like the similar. But this is like more ready and um, the other one's more pinky fied. Right. I'm just going to go grab a baby wipe and I'll be right back. So here, all I'm going to do is I'm not going to use any concealer. I'm just going to wipe um, some of this away. That fly is so annoying. Right, so that's wiped away. And then we're going to go in with the colour. Let's get a little brush. If I can get a little brush. Right, I'm going to go in with the this colour that is called Pink Me and it looks white but it's got like um when you touch it it's got like a pink pinky tone so when the light hits it it like looks more pink it is really pretty I mean I don't know how it's gonna show up on this video but it, it is really nice Go away, you stupid blair, I'll do your makeup as well. So it's just like a subtle... Well, pink. <laughs> That's what I was. <laughs> Ugh, bloody fly. Blend that corner out a little bit. So we've got no harsh lines. I have mascara. By the way, I did do my eyebrows before the video, and I um I did put concealer on all over my eyelid, and I patted it down too. So yeah, just in case you don't want to know that, that's what I did. Right then, so now we're gonna go in with the Violet Boss eyelashes. Again, I'm still using the same ones at the moment. <laughs> I do have other ones if anyone asks. Yes, I do. I just prefer to wear the shit out of them until I can't wear them anymore because, like I said, they cost a lot of money and who wants to pay that all the time? Not me. So, yeah. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go in with this... Oh, no, I dropped my mirror. With this blue called Breezy. And we're just going to pop that colour in the middle. Yeah. That's pretty, that's just like one swipe. I did do um, like two on the other side, so just to make it more intense. It's pretty, it's so pretty, it really is. Just wipe my brush off because I need to go for a lighter shade now. And then for the top, like just above the brow. I'm going to go in with Mooney, which is this one here. Just make it look pretty. I mean, this palette's amazing because, like, yeah, like I said, so far the colours are working well. There's a little bit of kickback, but. For me, I don't care anyway, because at the end of the day, I don't really do my um, foundation anyways. So, for me, I can just wipe it off my face. <sighs> That's a bit there. But I can just get a wipe and just wipe it off. <sighs> Stick this on. Like again, this is like um, an easy tutorial. Simple. 
Is there a black thing holding my fingers? Okay, my eyelash just does not want to stick in the corner. I don't know why. So there's no glue on it. Be right back. Okay, so now I think it's stuck on. I don't know if there was any glue in the corner of my eye. Anyway, we're going to go back in with Funky. And we're going to go underneath. I mean, it's like quite bright if you were. Um... Oh, I've got pink everywhere. The pink has gone everywhere. I have to touch my blue up. That's not a good thing. <laughs> so, I mean, they're, they are a little bit powdery in that respect. And then we're going to go back in with Guilty, I think. To darken that up a bit. Bloody bee trying to get in there and flies and flies. So, yeah, apart from like a little bit of kickback and, um, you know, like that. It does seem fine. So, that's the end of this tutorial. What I might do though is before we leave, is just do a couple of swatches. So you, you've seen the pinks, etc. So let's go in with a couple of these. So let's just try a couple. Um, not that I've gotten much place to it. So mood, that feels a bit um powdery, but it's really pigmented. Um, I'll try, you've seen Breezy, don't need to do that, Envy, a nice green, um, Liquor, ugh, my fingers are all dirty, <laughs> ugh. and let's try Lit, see some, some feel powdery, than others, because I've got no space to do swatches, but you know, right? So anyway, Keen, which is like a, a yellow. Um, what else? Mint. Some just feel softer than others, and like I said, I don't, I don't really know, you know, how they'll perform. But we're gonna try them anyway. And then as for your metallics, I've got Hush, Queenie, and Hustle. I'll try and move my own. Oh, there is breezy, but you've seen breezy. That's in the corner of my eye. That's beautiful. It performs really nice. I'm going to just swatch them. There. And the pigment that I did put on, obviously, pigment. Oh, the metallic I did put on in the corner of my eye. I did not use any um, wetness or anything. It was just boom. It's there. So, yeah. They're not great swatches, what I've just done. That's my fault. But, yeah. They are really, really, really amazing. And if you do the wipe test, they don't just come off. So yeah, they're really good. And then there's two highlighters, which I also like. And one's called Saint and one's called Zinna. So this, I'll do it on the arm here. This is Saint. You can see that, but it's like a pinky, peachy colour. And then we have Zinna. Which is more like full on like gold if you can see that they're really pretty trust me they're really pretty and yeah so it's a really really nice palette i think i'm going to do some more tutorials with this i might do like a green color but i really want to do like a proper colorful color just ugh, scares me but i'll do it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please like comment and subscribe Please do these tutorials with me. They're not hard. You will learn yourself. They're easy peasy. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.